Xbox season right around the corner. If you're like me, you have some decoys that look like this. They've just seen the years, or maybe you've bought some online and you're wanting to refinish them. Well, it's really easy to take an old hen mallard like this and turn it into a diver dot. I'm going to show you guys a couple steps on how to do that. It's not going to look professional by any means, but it's enough to fool a couple birds. So you can go to Walmart, get these paint cans, spray paint, white, first coat I do, 97 cents. And it's really simple. I just put a complete white coat over the whole dot. That'll give you a good basis on it. Plus, white is the easiest to go over. So with your blue bill, which is what I'm going to make this one, a Drake blue bill, blue will go right over that white, no problem. And it's a key importance that you use spray paint and acrylic paint. Any other paint will flake right off these birds. Someone had 18 of them on Craigslist for 25 bucks, so I bought them in a heartbeat. You can spray paint over their old names on them, put your own. Make sure you really get those parts that still have some color on them. And the wing was, and on the bill there was a little spot that had some bright orange on it. We need to make sure that all that is uh, completely covered. I'm going to leave a little bit of color on the top because the drakes have that blackish white. So here's uh, step one. Obviously missed some, but that's alright because all this is going to be black. These top parts are very lighter colored, white black. So what I do is I take a grocery bag, bring it around. You can tuck it behind this keel. Just something so it doesn't have to be a tight fit. A loose fit's just fine. Just something that you can kind of manage just like that. We're just going to... Do a heavy coat of black all the way around this bird. Eyes and everything, get it all. That part's done. Double check it. A little bit up there needed to be done. We're going to go to the back. Bag up ahead of it right there. And that's our uh, step two. Very quick, very simple. Again, I got this decoy. Off Craigslist, I got a bunch of Instead of spending 60 to 80 bucks for a half dozen decoys, you can make some inexpensive, decent looking birds for a fraction of the cost. It's actually coming out great. See, I'm staying far off. Just kind of get that natural black tone look to it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put masking tape on both sides of the nostril and on the tip of the bill because that's what our end project is well that's what we're trying it's not gonna look that good obviously just a quick look of uh, how I masking tape it is very simple when you do this it is crucial to use acrylic paint acrylic paint won't crimp off 
it'll stay on for a couple years before you have to touch it up. Look very nice, but um, as we're seeing right there. And um, that's the nice thing about having the masking tape. You don't have to worry up here where the bill ends, be a bit lighter on it. Um, you know, the one bad thing is I did paint it black. You can go through and leave the bill white and then paint your blue over it, but then you have to do the detail on the nostril still. So it's really a pick your poison on what you feel most comfortable doing. Um, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. But as you can see, this excess starting to build up. We're going to bring it down at the end so it doesn't bub bubble up. Touch up these very specific finer points. backside is very black so we'll do cross painting try to cover up some of that and you might not get all of the black it's definitely a multiple coat job to try to cover that black bill um, this is the first time I've done it with spray painting the bill black um, you know, I honestly think it's easier this way, even though you might have to take a bit more time. But that's what uh, stage two looks like. So our next detail will be doing the eyes. And uh, I think the eyes are the most difficult part of it because they like to look terrible. <laughs> um, so what I do is I take Still firm, I haven't broke the bristles yet. So I just try to get this thing with a nice even amount of paint. Even roll it there to get more of a smooth finish to it. But um, it's really, it, it's terrible. I, I am not, I don't enjoy this part. So. you're like me you have not even close to a steady hand as you see I got some right there but then again they're flying by it's I think that catches more hunters than it does catch birds off guard kind of like when you're fishing some baits are built to catch the fishermen and not the fish there's our finished product for our low budget bluebill decoy. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and for more tips especially with decoys and design check out my buddy's channel Fish and Hunt with Luke. It'll be in the description. Thank you so much. Pacific Waterfowlers out.